What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Vampires. We eat our friends and blood and stuff. Living La Muerta Loca. Um, we are right at the very end where we last left off. And I just happened to notice this as I was sitting here waiting for the recording to start. It says, like, sometimes even the undead die. After extensive consultation, the coroners have come to the unanimous, unanimous conclusion that the victim expired from acute blood loss approximately one week, one week prior to sustaining the injuries given as a cause of death in the initial coroner's report. Initial eyewitness accounts claiming the deceased arrived alive at the site where the body was discovered by Officer Dearborn must be re-examined. The body has clearly been relocated post-mortem, presumably by the perpetrator or accomplices. Witness reports claiming to have seen or con First, with the deceased in the time span between the cessation of vital functions and discovery by Officer Dearborn are currently unexplained but directly contradict the findings of this report. So that's pretty cool. It'll give you a little bit of a detail of it, even though you're dead. It's like he should have been dead a week ago. <laughs> Love it. So we're going to try this again here. Uh, death will be slow. Case, are you okay? Yep. Um... So last time, we are running away from these two unknown assailants. One is Nick, and one is Anise. This is, um, oh, actually, this isn't Anise. This is someone else. And Izzy is trying to help us here. So she's like, uh, wait, I have an idea. Don't move. And we we're like, whatever. Just hurry up. Like, are you okay? As soon as I saw them, uh, the rain on their faces didn't change when I told them Elia was dead. I ran so far before I fell from the roof into the alley. And these came down just after I texted you, and I started shooting. I said, I'll come see your friend Carl, which we did in the very end of the last episode. It did not work out very well for us. Um, I'm going to say, use the crowbar. I used the crowbar. Which worked for a second, but then she just let out this echoey screech. Carl just dumped down off a wrist somewhere, and then the car came around the corner, just plowed right into him. And Frankie's friend was like, Get fucking in! Wait a minute, Frankie? Like, Frankie the cannibal? Oh my god, it worked. I found Aries bail bonds on G Maps. I was like, Frankie, do you have any friends in Seattle? Frankie just does, does, just does what I say, making me soup now. It, Izzy, you don't eat. I know, but I just like the idea of Frankie Cannibal in the bathrobe making me chicken noodles. Not all heroes wear capes. The dynamics of power in that situation. <laughs> are deeply problem problematic. Whatever, you're actually coming home and it's good. Where are you now? Lost in the trunk of a 6th generation Dodge Charger SRT Hellcat? Orange. Seriously, we need to have a talk about you being locked and stuff. <laughs> it's cool. It's Frankie's friend, Clara. She's an ex-stripper sound engineer who hates everything except Frankie and this car, I think. Maybe. <laughs> I paid her like $2,000 to drive me back to L.A. Surreptitious? Surreptitious? There you go. Yes, I mean, it's orange, but you go to, the, you go to war with the muscle car... I'm going to wait for this to stop. Yes, I mean it's orange, but you go to war with the muscle car you have, not the one you wish you had. kind of want to get it painted, but she might kill me. Probably better to just steal another one. But if we find one old enough to hotwire, but later, because there's a storm. I can hear it on the hood. Uh-oh. I had Frankie put me on the phone and was like, help my friend, and he was, and she was like, definitely... Everyone's nice out, to me anyway. I mean, everybody's trying to kill you, but... <laughs> yeah, it's a thing. <laughs> I saw those people again, or I thought I did, reflected in Frankie's pool. Then I looked up and didn't see anyone. We need to fucking end this. Or... I killed and ate Frankie's Chihuahua. <laughs> oh shit, this is, sounds like it's going to be an awesome chapter. <laughs> uh, okay, who am I starting with today? Mom. Nope, Sammy. Too tired to write anything today. How are you feeling, Sammy? Uh-oh. 
They have me on a drip of something. I can't remember the name, but it makes me really sleepy even when I'm awake. The food here is so bad. Can you guys bring me something? I'll ask Izzy. I'm out of town right now. Oh, I thought you were working since you never answer in the daytime. What are you doing? Back from not seeing friends in New York. Oh, you mean Brittany? I remember when she went to Six Place. She was nice. She did my hair, remember? How is she? She's dead. <laughs> She's good. She's doing good. She says hi. Hey, wouldn't that make you think about well, back from not seeing friends in New York? And it's like, how is she? She's good. She's good. She says hi. But I didn't think you saw her. You're alive. Hey, abstract mystery texter. I missed you. <laughs> <laughs> Avoid Mount Shasta, Blue Gum, Yuba City, Sacramento, uh, Camarillo, Elk Grove, Stockton, anything with tinted windows, HOV lanes at night. Okay. Hey, I gotta talk. Good, I'm getting bored in this trunk. Uh, it's almost my turn to drive. I stole a car in Fish Lake, which, by the way, is the worst name for a lake. <laughs> How long until you're back? And I killed the Nate Frankie's Chihuahua. Oh shit, no, don't do it, Izzy. Like, eight more hours if I drive all night and... Gross? Good. <laughs> he was kind of annoying, but it was still really sad. I don't know how to handle this. Chihuahuas are annoying. <laughs> They are. I also feel really bad. I keep calling in sick to the shelter. I might go down to the hospital. Uh, well, wait. Just to let Sammy know I'm okay. Should I wait for you? Oh, I was saying she wants us to bring some real food, which, you know, must be a big deal because she would never ask us for food normally. I also want to meet up ASAP. On um, other hand, I'm not sure if I'm safe to be around. So, yeah. Good idea. Later, bad idea. Um... Shit. Oh boy. Depends on where she is. If she's in any one of those towns that's here that was listed. Yeah, let's try it. Good idea. Later. Hearts. Batteries dying. Be in touch when I'm near a charge or some new terrible thing happens. Okay. Smiley face. Oh fuck. Mom's going to talk to me now. I hear the word hissing past, and the lights scattered one either side like low stars. You're coming home. Come close. God, you're creepy. <laughs> and end scene. Los Angeles, Wednesday, 2.15 a.m. I like that. They actually tell you uh, you got a new network carrier when you move, go into a new town. Still in a trunk? Eh, texting and driving because I'm a fucking vampire and a rebel. Still lounging around your rock star's bedroom? <laughs> fucking love that. Nah, texting and driving because I'm a fucking vampire and a rebel. <laughs> nah, I went to see Sammy in the hospital. I had to pretend I was fam to get in at night. All that blood and bags had me like, hmm. <laughs> Did you? No, I couldn't. And I'm really hungry. Oh, that guy Paul I told you about from the shelter who was selling those Mr. Bubble Boxes? He died. S sucks. <laughs> Did you eat him? Regular died at least. Stroke. Yeah, I went downtown and I almost wish I didn't. I was in another guy's tent who was telling me about it when the cop decided to do us for blocking the sidewalk. I mean, Frank, you can pay it, but it's stupid. It's hot here. Tent is too hot to sleep in and everyone's out like, Izzy, we haven't seen you. Oh yeah, I had another dream. Yeah? Yeah, what's it about? Uh, shit's on fire and somebody's got blood on them. Yeah, not cool. Not cool. God, at least a couple of them are good looking and none of them are us. Okay, let's meet up when I roll up. I may not meet up with you in LA. Sacramento, California. Um, 
yeah. They might be following me. Might just sleep in the trunk tomorrow. Just to be safe. Just in case, man. We'll wait it out for a day and see. Oh, shit, Sammy. Is it woke up in the middle of the night with a Tommy Burger? Said you're home soon? Yeah, probably. <laughs> okay, what's better? No matter how far the floppy kitty dived down, she couldn't find the bottom. Or down and down went floppy kitty, but the bottom of the lake was further still. Uh, second one. Uh-oh. They're just asses. What, do I put my face in them? Who? My friends? Not who. Not like those people are asses. Like an insult. Like when we were not twins, if you're wondering about... But everyone asks, we're not even related. Thank God. We're walking past the movie theater with that tattoo girl and you didn't realize I could see you in the parking lot staring in the security mirror. And you were staring at our asses. I'm saying they're just asses. Our asses in pants. No need to stare. Um... How did you get my number? This is a different unknown. Wait a minute. No, it's... Okay. Hollis's house. Hollis was old. I had old person habits like writing phone numbers on pieces of paper. <laughs> did you kill Hollis? No, probably the Cavalls did. That I just found Hollis dead right before your friend Izzy. You warned me before. Yeah, that was me. Why? I think you're hot. Well, I guess I like your ass. <laughs> why not? I mean, if there's another hot vampire out there who likes me, then why not flirt? I knew Hollis had good taste, so when I heard Hollis had new offspring, I had to check out the new kid. How'd you know I'd go to Seattle? Honestly, just checked your friend Izzy's Facebook, saw that Nick person had a pic of you from some barbecue party, so I looked in on him. It was too late. I apologize. Thanks. Alright, so we're starting to get a little bit of uh, backup here. If you're not too heartbroken, you should come out and play with us. My friend saw people fighting in a dream. Your friend has some kind of rare aspects. Can see things, like your mom. That's why the couple always want them. Like my mom. Yes, you didn't know? This explains a lot. She's a witch of the Tamir. Uh, that's one way they have a vague idea of where you are. They're hoping you'll lead them to your friend. I thought she was dead. Uh, yeah. So my mom's not dead. My mom's a witch. Well, she is. Kind of. Reese thought there were some warlocks creeping around the neighborhood and we started following them and well we lost them but we found you. Anyway, your friends saw people fighting. Like this. Oh, that's us alright. And them. They look nasty. You better come out and help. This is crazy. You gotta do it for dead ass, right? Come over, we'll put on a mortal and have a blood orgy in the pool and then get ambushed by a shitty cult near a concrete wall. It'll be fun. Reese has the Pomerini. <laughs> What's your name? Jamie. Jamie was added to your contacts. Hey, Jamie. Did Hollis have any other friends like us in LA? A few. Come out and play and I'll introduce you to the ones who aren't bastards. Mm, okay. Let's do it. I could hide in that car and then ambush them. I could hide behind that wall and it's hiding a car. Now you're thinking like a real dead people. <laughs> Why aren't you talk taking this seriously? I spend all night looking for hardworking people to eat all day, sleeping in a vault. Uh, I need to have fun where I can. Big question is, should I change first? Because I'm wearing 
because I'm wearing that because it's a really good look and I'm trying to impress you. But on the other hand, maybe I can thwart fate through fashion-based avoidance strategies. I don't know. I might actually have to shop. <laughs> Where do we meet? <laughs> meet. We're standing right next to your stupid parking spot. Get out of the trunk. Oh, shit. So we got a haughty vampire flirting with us. We got Izzy, which, see, it was a good thing we didn't go see the I see Izzy because they're searching for our friend. So the fact that we're only doing it via text, I think, is pretty damn good. So let's see what Izzy has to say. They might be following me. Uh, yeah. Where are you? Town Street, Skid Row. I'm at the tents with Leroy and them. Okay, stay there. It's going. Long story, got into town, met some people, had a few laughs, started making out, one got killed. Kind of a blur. No shit. <laughs> they're following you, like you guessed. Yeah, I think they're trying to find you, though. Me? Yeah, because you're, uh... Mom was carrying a receipt with this painted on the back. Uh huh. It looked dangerous, so I copied it and left it. Oh. But if it was like their wish thing, like what if that was important? Oh well. Uh, if we agonize over every weird thing, we never get it off, right? I'm dead. Damn it. You son of a bitch. Okay. Well, let's try it again. <laughs> so we're going to take that thing with us. Uh, Izzy. Where are you? I'm with Leroy. Cool. Stay there. Yep. They're following you. Yeah. They were looking for you. And... There you go. Okay. Me. Yeah. looked important so I kept it uh oh who dis mommy there's a hollow where you once were where have you gone it's because of your dreams just stay at Frankie's house for a bit be careful I got three numbers from the Hollis's other friends Alfonso Margrios some punk with a face tattoo Morgan Aldirisi who's got a lot of credits in bad monster movies and then fucking Avery Owls Aos Isles the porn girl with the dick cool well now I well now I know I know why I've been dreaming about her another painting and maybe these Hollis never mentioned knowing anybody in porn. Hollis also never mentioned being a thousand years old and the locals have an arcane blood feud either. <laughs> True enough. Fair. <laughs> what are you gonna do? Hide in the hotel room and text some of these people and try not to get anyone else killed. Yeah, good idea. Oh, fuck. Mom, can you feel the radiance of this love? Do you not shrink from it? Hello, Alfonso, Jamie, and Reese gave me your number. I'm Case, Hollis's friend. Jamie got killed. Yeah, and I can't find Reese. How did you know? Jamie's dead, the one with the nice ass? Oh, what the fuck? Put two and two together from the radio chatter. Radio chatter? Was it vampire radio? I kill cops. Oh, that's like who you feed off? weird yeah usually yeah but sometimes it's just because it's fun if you ever get arrested call me I'm trying not to get arrested on a friday oh even if it's an accident they can let you out. they can't let you out till monday good to know i mean if there's a window in the cell like twin towers jail you're fucked a new man south side brucia they whoa they held him down in front of one of those long tall ones in the towers burned them straight line right across and burned them in half 
one arm and leg on one side, other arm and leg on the other side. Nothing down the middle, just red split steam all over the glass. Civilian staff didn't think nothing to hear that scream because they got 2,000 mental patients in their total folk incarceration state shit. Well, I was going to ask you for some advice. Advice. Spring Street Pork downtown right around 4 a.m. is the best in the city. Well fed and too lazy to get away. Okay. <laughs> nah, just fuck it with you. For real advice, you got gods chasing you. You know how you could say vampires like a metaphor for like class and capitalism and social control? It's a complex signifier that can attach to different situations concerning power and the misuse thereof as others as well as other forms of predation, both social and psychological. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. I know you went to art school. The point being that gods basically just act like the parasitic signifiers. They are and will inevitably attach to the most obviously articulate discursive structure, and they can get their hands on form once to commence said predation. Like that art gallery you ruined in New York, so the gods hate, hate LA, but they love Hollywood. Stars from the desert, desert dirt, something out of nothing. Glamour. Uh-huh. Yeah, they want to be in that. Always have been. Mark Strahan and blood coming out of coke noses. Ritual murdered actresses just come up and suddenly nobody can remember their names. Recordings played back and it's dialogue, not the script. Hotel rooms left locked for 50 years. They have no interest in the rest of the 500 square miles of the city. Beachfront and all the dr Darwinian shit. Prescription drugs, truck ads, chain link fences. They prefer to think they are above. Okay. So those are the forces to array at them. Malfunctioning mundane things. Move through the channel they are ignoring. Well, that's a pep talk. Do you know what this is? I found it one of the guys uh, who attacked Reese and Jamie. Yeah, you're fucked. Tremere Juju lets them move undetected even by kin of Cain. They could never... S they never could have snuck up on the twins without something like that. Fucking useful. Hold on to that. Gotta help my friend move. I'll get back at you. Don't die. So wait, that means I can go un, uh, undetected now that I have that? I gotta help my friend move. Been there. I'll hit up some more Hollis friendlies in the meantime. Morgan sent you a message. Okay, we'll do one more and then uh, call the episode after this. Hey, I'm Case of a friend of Hollis isn't Reese and Jamie. Message me if you get this. Uh oh. Avery. Okay, one more. Hello? Hey, new kid. You're friends with Hollis, right? Well, Hollis killed me if that's what you mean. Hello. Guess me too. I'm dead, you're dead, now Hollis is dead, dead. And if Alfonso says one of the twins is too, but I kind of saw that coming, Jamie was a pain in the ass, to be honest. Oh god, no offense if you two were a thing, sorry. Like Hollis had an eye on you forever, like that kid. I like that kid. Sorry, just had breakfast. Kind of drink. Drunk. <laughs> What'd you have for breakfast? Mall goss. Like from the Galleria? <laughs> Westfield Topanga. I used to have them all the time, like go to Kiel's and some San Reno store and then usually pick up something between there and like yogurt dogs, but then they changed the hours and then I got really into Uber drivers. If it's a girl, cancel it. But if it's a guy, I like get in and start to flirt and then like wait and wait and then mention joint bathrooms in North Carolina or whatever and see what they say. Then I go, so I'm trans, and I have, like, a cock, and they're all like, well, that's different, and I'm like, can I jerk you off? And they're always like, yeah. If they said something shitty about North Carolina, about Trump, or whatever, I kill them and eat them. And if they don't, then no matter what, they look like I jerk them off. They always say yes. Well, you learn something new every day. 
Interesting. Oh, Avery's the uh, porn star with the dick. That's cool. <laughs> I really like jerking off. I really like the jerking off, though. It's weird. I love the idea that all these old guys are driving around after drain after I drain their balls. It's going to shrink about it. For, going to shrink about it for a while, not draining the hand jobs. I think it has something to do with Catholic upbringing, or I don't know. But my shrink was kind of useless and fifty and falling in love with me, so I bit him. <laughs> I felt bad, so I spawned spawned him so he's like clovis living dead shrink for the last 15 months i'm a mess anyways what do you do i used to steal cars then i went to our school now i don't know <laughs> what a fucked up conversation man no i mean like who do you hunt what's like your niche i haven't really settled down into one thing yet i guess <laughs> oh you're real baby teeth are you a lover or a hater um yeah, what do you mean? Because I'd be a lover. Like, if you want to sexy bite people because they're hot, then you're a lover. And if you want to bite them because they're assholes, you're a hater. Hollis was a lover. I'm a weirdly, I'm weirdly a hater. If I try to bite someone who isn't a massive tool, I'm like, oh, I can't. Which is probably good because then have to transport in LA, they wouldn't be able to shoot in the daylight. <laughs> Guess I'm a hater. Yeah, me too. So we're real fast and buff then. When are you free? Huh? You are what you eat. I'm very unlucky. <laughs> no, ever notice you get real quick when you just fed off someone trying to get away? I thought it was adrenaline. Nope. More like the GTFO scared blood in your system cranks you up. Oh, so what about you? <laughs> Same Trumpy frat jerk. I drained once and accidentally took a car door off the hinges getting out. The anger and stronger and mostly I'm fast though. Flight response. Fear seems to trigger that one. What they feel when we rip into them matters. Really? This explains a lot. It's always like this. Yeah, most of the old ones deny it though. It doesn't fit with them being all above the cattle on that. I guess most obvious to Neos like us, we grow up fast, but the same Prince Ash or whomever just a lot slower. So there's a little of them always in us. Ugh. I would throw up if I could. <laughs> You always kill. That's very HC. You drink them all dry. I like I can do ripped out artery f first aid on them. Seems a waste not to take as much as I can. Get down. It's the bad thing that I am. It's like supposed to do that. Am I what? Like, okay, that was really hard English. Not like I can do ripped out artery first aid on them. So it seems like waste not to take them as much, take as much as I can get down. Is that a bad thing? Like, am I, what, like not to supposed to do that? You could try, you could just try not to kill them unless you want to. You take what you need them to stop. Like the fang holes, spit closes them up. They forget most of it, mostly. Fang holes. I use my teeth with something sharp like a matte knife. I don't have fangs. Oh my god, that sucks, baby teeth. I've only heard about that happening with thin bloods like us sometimes. It's tough. I hope they grow out. I recommend blood bags in the meantime if you're not down with all the murdering. I'm good. <laughs> Making the world a better place through targeted iron depletion. <laughs> Fuck the cows, right? So what's next? Come on, hurry up. Well, once you know that you kind of just figure out... Uh, once you know that, you just kind of figure out what you like and figure a way to sort of keep the supply going. If you're just starting out, then... I'm, like the valley or OC is better because things are more spread out. Less city cops. I mean, they seem to start to notice patterns and shit if you're not careful. Okay. Do you know anything about these people trying to kill us? Yeah, they're bad man pajamas. Ugh. The Cabal. Tremere. They've been trying to take LA forever. Stupid. Nobody can take LA. It's too spread out. 
Do you know tarot cards? A little. Mm. L.A. is the fool. First card in the deck. Enlightened but always becoming. Upside down, even right side up. They'll never take L.A. because this place will never make sense. And it makes them mad and they try to kill us. But why hurl us? Mm-hmm. Hollis was a hub, a breeder, trusted, old, thin-blooded, unrepentant anarch. He was high-value target. Any specific slight they cite is just a pretense. They just want to kick out the supports. That's why they do. That's what they do. Find an artery in the venom, the whole plexus. So chaos. What do we do? We gotta get them back. It's L.A. We out chaos them. What the fuck is that? Listen, I'm boning somebody at midnight and I haven't got ready at all, but talk to you later. Let's have lunch this week, okay? I'll bring it. Also, I'll pop and seal for you baby teeth because I'm generous and attractive. Also, I'll pop and seal for you baby teeth. Um, okay, I don't really know what the pop and seal thing means, but um, okay. That's going to do it for this episode, guys. A little bit longer one, but uh, I wanted to get in all the new friends and everything like that. So in the next episode, we're going to, oh, looks like we're going to be talking to mom. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, you already know what to do with that like button. If you haven't hit the sub button yet, make sure you do that before you go. You get to see at least three videos every single day. And check out my new website, chills504.ca, and my new Discord link in the description down below. You can come and hang out with me and some other cool people. Take care. Very simple.